I'm so excited to be here. I have been waiting to make this video for such a long time. I'm so excited for this. Today, I'm gonna be talking to you a little bit about Honkai Star Rail. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. I'm so excited to show you the artwork that I made for this game, to also talk to you a little bit more about Honkai Star Rail, and also to show you the winners of the Multiverse Vistas visual arts category competition. I was so honored to be part of the judging for this competition, so I hope you stick around to the halfway mark of the video so I can show you you the winners but before we begin i want to show you the artwork that i created for this video okay let's go As you may know, I've had the honor and privilege to be a judge on Honkai Star Rail's Multiverse Vistas art competition with two other amazing judges. There have been several categories for this competition and I'm very excited to have looked through and judged the visual arts category. And to celebrate the conclusion of this competition, I wanted to draw an amazing character from this game, Kafka. Yes, so many of you guessed it on Instagram when I posted a sneak peek and I was so excited to paint Kafka. She is definitely one of the most anticipated characters in Honkai and a really captivating antagonist. She quote-unquote created you as the protagonist in the game and there are a lot of details in her character that show her as the quote-unquote puppet master to the game. She's always composed and has a very gentle and beautiful elegant demeanor because I don't draw in manga or anime style, it was interesting for me to take this character and these descriptors and to create her in my own style. I had so much fun and this was a very welcome challenge for me. I think it's so fun that she is such a powerful character. She's one of the most notorious and wanted criminals in the universe and a ruthless killer. She uses a katana and submachine guns to attack her enemies and after all ally attacks, she will immediately launch a follow-up up attack. Her ultimate deals lightning damage to all enemies with a chance to inflict enemies with shock. I think everybody is so excited to play as her. I hope I did her justice with my painting. I worked really hard at it. I really wanted to capture 
the essence of the character but in my own style and I'm pretty proud of this painting. I put in a lot of work and I think uh, especially the features and the hair turned out really magical. I'm very proud of this. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. I'm really nervous because there were so many good artists in the competition and so I feel definitely underqualified when painting especially since this is not my specific area of expertise but honestly I had so much fun painting this. This is something that I will definitely be adding to my resume and I was so happy to be part of this community for the past couple of months. As always, I painted this in Clip Studio Paint with my Huyan tablet. Let me know what your thoughts are and let's get to announcing who the winners of the competition are. seriously so incredibly honored to be judging part of the visual arts category of this competition. I was so shocked when I saw all of the artwork that was submitted. So much of it took dozens of hours to create. It was so beautiful, so technically proficient, and I was personally really humbled to be a judge because some of these pieces I think were so much technically better than even my work. I was so honored to be part of the judging, and I would love to show you the three pieces and announce the winners of the competition. Competition. This first piece I think is so sweet. I think that the artist did such a wonderful job with the composition, the design of the characters, their expressions, the color palette. I absolutely love the movement in the hair and I just think this is such a beautiful piece that's very serene. I think that it captures the character of Herta very well. The next two winners are actually comic artists. This very first one I think has a beautiful style, a lot of detail for a comic spread I would say. I think this comic did a really beautiful job in incorporating several styles into me making their work dynamic, fun to read through, easy for your eyes to skip through the content. I think it's fantastic. This very last winner seems to be a fan favorite. So many people loved this piece and loved the storytelling and I think it is fantastic. The style is so bold. They put in so much work into creating many, many pages for this comic spread and I think they also captured a lot of the lore of Honkai to where so many comments are saying how hilarious this is. I think this artist very well deserves a winning slot in this competition. I looked through as many pieces as I could for the judging. There were dozens that I was just taken aback. It's insane how skilled, inspired, and dedicated this community is and I'm so happy and proud to be part of this judging and also just this experience. I think it's always lovely to be part of such a large community and to see so many people enjoying this game. I hope you also enjoyed my artwork for this video. Thank you so much to Honkai Star Rail for sponsoring this video and allowing me to be part of the judging and part of this competition. This is definitely a dream sponsorship and I would absolutely love to work with Honkai Star Rail again or just in general Hoyoverse. It was such a fun experience for me personally. I hope you enjoy this video, enjoy the artwork, and we're excited to see the winners of the Multiverse Vistas competition. If you like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe so that I can know you enjoy content like this. I would love to have you around and click the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.